What's up, everybody? Come from the back porch for you again. Yeah, I'm wearing the same shirt. I'll, I'll probably do these videos different, but um, anyway, I was cleaning the shirt last night. Today, I was doing home, working from home, and um, my water heater, uh, actually, two pipes in the wall leaked going to behind my shower um, and ruined my wood floors. Um, that happened last night, and then this morning, so I'm trying to get work done, and um, I got to take care of this. So I took the water heater out, and these morons that built my house, they made a water heater closet that the door smaller than the water heater. Really? So you got to rip the whole door frame out, door. Um, you had to cut out the bottom of the sheetrock, and then I had about this much room with two T's, um, copper T's. Um, it's the way they connect it with copper in the in the in the plex, or and that um, um, in the pex that um, corroded. I've already changed about seven of these in my house. Freaking leaked all over the place. Um, finally got it in there, so I'm getting that. This is my victory smoke and my victory beer. Um, haven't put the door back on, but hey, we got water. So, um, shark bites, man, great thing, great stuff. But anyway, um, Pisgah Brewing Company out of um, Black Mountain, North Carolina. Um, this is Graybeard IPA. It is, thanks for Chris for this one. Respect tradition, love beer, and treat yourself. I'm trying to do that. Ingredients, water, organic malts, whole hops, brewer's yeast, 69% organic ingredient. Um, talks about it's... Name for Black Mountain's High Summit. Gray Beer is an innovative IPA extracting its bitterness from massive doses of whole leaf hops, utilizing a unique hop back system to infuse extra lupulin resins into the body and aroma. Bold and adventurous, Gray Beer takes you to the top of the mountain. Well, we'll see. I already popped it. Took a little sip, but. Um, Got some grapefruit and a little bit of orange, a little bit of orange. Um, just a straw color. Well, it's actually kind of pretty there. Um, pretty awesome color. A little got some tint to it. Um, out of the glass. Definitely still like grapefruit. A uh, little bit of gray. I meant not grape. Like a little bit of orange, but mostly grapefruit. But um, just a lot of floral, floral, um, pine, not piney so much, but like floral, um, flower type smell with some grass. Pretty pleasant. They don't smell much malt in it. Let's give it a taste. I would give a carpet a taste too. The rug. Pretty good. Um, definitely got some malt there, light malt backbone in it. Mouth feels a little better than light. Probably a little medium on it. Uh, pretty good flavor, just real smooth going down. Good mouth feel. Doesn't do much across the tongue, just a nice, smooth, light biscuit, not biscuit, but light cracker sweetness. Um, and it finishes off with some good bitter. Then they taste a little bit of that, a little bit of dank and some that grassy floral, mostly floral, big time. Um, ends with a crazy amount of bitterness pretty cool pretty nice how it goes back and forth um, not my favorite beer but would be a nice go-to um, middle of a summer day probably too much bitterness at the end but it's good on the end of a nasty water heater day so what I'm saying on this one total rating I'm gonna give it a 8.8.4 8.5, um, just good, good beer, good to drink, Pisgah Brewing Company, 
up here in Black Mountain, North Carolina. Appreciate you watching. Thank you.